Hello all. Today we are starting with new subject that is data warehousing and mining. So we'll start with the first module of it. That is introduction to data warehouse and dimensional modeling. So before starting with what is data warehouse, why we need it. First, let us see what created such situations where we needed a data warehouse. So we all know that data is everywhere. Every organization, every institutes have a lot and lot of data existing. But even if there is a lot of data existing over there, many times situations happen that you are not able to find the needed data because it is not organized properly or because it is not stored properly. It is difficult for retrieving or say that data is scattered. So even if, ha if you have all the kind of data, people faces few problem like I can't find the data I need. Why? Because the data is scattered over the network and many versions of data exist with a subtle difference, yani with a small difference. So it may happen that you have created a data. There are various copies of it existing with minor changes in it. So you don't know exactly what is the final data for that particular topic. For example, when you try to create a report or when you try to create a normal Excel file, you store it, you just start with one if you name it as final next you update it you name it as final one then you have updated as final two so the no, no number of times you update it the more number of times you save with that different name so it is impossible to understand that which one is the actual final list so that what it means over here when we say that we have the data but we are unable to find it why firstly because it is scattered over the network secondly because it has many versions having small small differences the second point is that i can't get the data i need so pehla problem is that data hote hue bhi hum find nahi kar pa rahe second data hote hue bhi humko data mil nahi raha hai so there is an expert needed for finding that data why again that same problem because data is so much and it is scattered everywhere so it is unable to get the link of which data is related to what topic or how to link between different data third problem is i can't understand the data i found which is very obvious that someone else has stored someone else has created so it is not possible for us to understand if the files are scattered if the data are scattered as you can see there are lots of lots of data existing in every possible way but it is difficult to understand because the data is poorly documented because there may not be a detailed information about the new technology or new ways we have used or some important points may be missing or say there is a gap between like there is no link between different data. So even if you get that data, even if you find that data, it is difficult for you to understand that data if it is not documented properly. Third, uh, sorry, fourth and the last point says that I can't use the data I found. So even if you have so much of data, why it is not possible for you to use that data? That is because results are unexpected and data needs to be transformed from one form to another. So even if you get that data, even if you understand that data, many times it happens that you are not able to use that data. Why? Because you are expecting that data to work in a manner and give some results, but it is not giving the intended results you need. Hence, that data needs to be transformed from one form to another, which may be possible or may not be possible at times. Therefore, even if you have so much of data, it is not possible to use that data. So here we see that even when we are having lots of data with us, it is not possible for us every time to use that data or let's say in general term that data is not somehow helpful. Why we are talking about so much uh, for data is because if you have a proper data, we can make a proper strategy out of it. Now, why we need strategies? You must be knowing that these days business are growing very fast. If you want to be one of the competitive business because competition exists everywhere. So for being in that competition for the survival, you need to have a strategy. So for that strategy, you need to have a data which is very organized fashion. So first let's study what is strategic information. Let us have a short introduction of strategic information. Now, as I said, many companies nowadays 
start using computers and computer system they rely more and more on the computer system lots and lots and hundreds and thousands of computer applications are generated and they are uh, supported by the systems to store data to retrieve data businesses grow day by day they become more complex more large to handle so all these operational systems provide information to run day to day operations but could not be readily used to make strategic decisions to jaisa humne dekha ki ye sara jo bhi data available है वो डेली बेसिस पे रन करने के लिए इट इज वेरी गुड कि जैसे हम न्यूज में देखते हैं ओके आज ये हुआ आज शेयर मार्केट गिर गया शेयर मार्केट उड़ गया ओके दिस बिजनेस ग्रीन टू डे दैट profit uh, has been done by so and so businesses but this data as on the daily basis cannot be used for strategic decisions like roz ka roz dekh ke we cannot make a decision okay that what they have done so we have to do for getting a better result so for making a proper strategy we need to have a detailed analysis of data and for detailed analysis you need to have a detailed set of information to be collected and to be stored properly so that when you retrieve it it is possible for you to understand and to go through it and only then you can make proper decisions so data warehousing is nothing but a new paradigm specifically intended to provide vital strategic information यानी डेटा वेयर हाउसिंग एक ऐसा पैराडाइम बनाया है जहां पे आप बहुत सारा डेटा कलेक्ट कर सकते हो वो डेटा आपको स्ट्रेटेजी बनाने के लिए हेल्पफुल होगा दैट्स इट सी फॉर एग्जांपल ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस अचीव कंपिटेटिव एडवांटेज अभी जैसे रिटेल्स वाले हैं तो उनका एनालिसिस किस पे रहेगा कि कस्टमर लॉयल्टी होना चाहिए मार्केट प्लानिंग प्रॉपर होना चाहिए सो ये मार्केट प्लानिंग करने के लिए एंड कस्टमर का लॉयल्टी मेंटेन करने के लिए ऑब्वियसली नीड टू हैव इन्फॉर्मेशन लाइक व्हाट दैट कस्टमर इज एक्सपेक्टिंग हाउ आर दे चेंजिंग देयर नीड्स व्हाट आर देयर प्लानिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू नीड टू हैव अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू नीड टू हैव मार्केट प्लानिंग market planning is how will you grab the market how will you attract the market towards you so for that you need for making such strategies for making some planning you need to have a lot of data like from where they started what is the survey yeah so last uh, last ppt we have seen that what is the need or say what is strategic information so now we are seeing what is the need for that strategic information what is that demand for strategic information so for making any kind of strategy we need to have a lot of data that we have seen before so the question is who needs that strategic information in an enterprise or say what exactly do we mean by strategic information so first we'll answer who needs that strategic information the executives and the managers who are responsible for keeping the enterprise competitive need information to make proper decisions abhi jo bhi companies mein kafi managers hote hain executives hote hain unka kaam hota hai ki company ko competition mein banaye rakhna market mein uska reputations aur apni jagah they should maintain so those people need to make proper decisions and to make such proper decisions they need to have strategic information strategic information matlab aisa information hona chahiye jinke basis pe wo decisions le sake for example last year ka profit hua hai so okay what are the sales how did we do that how was the marketing strategy so what improvements can be done from that uh, for the new year so that we have more profits और कंपेरेटिवली से अगर लॉस हुआ है किसी टीम में तो क्यों लॉस हुआ कहाँ पे कम पड़ गए जो पूरा रिव्यू हम स्टार्ट से एंड लेके करते हैं सर्वे हो या उसका एनालिसिस हो दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन इज कॉल्ड एज स्ट्रेटेजिक इन्फॉर्मेशन क्योंकि वो इन्फॉर्मेशन को स्टडी करके ही दे कैन मेक प्रॉपर डिसीजन सो एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन विच इज यूज फॉर मेकिंग प्रॉपर डिसीजन दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन इज कॉल्ड एज स्ट्रेटेजिक इन्फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज उसी इन्फॉर्मेशन के बेसिस पे हम कोई स्ट्रेटेजी बनाते हैं कुछ चीजें ओवरकम करते हैं कुछ चीजें ऐड करते हैं डिलीट करते हैं एंड अकॉर्डिंगली हम डिसीजन लेके वो एग्जीक्यूट करते हैं अब ये जो मैनेजर्स है दे नीड इन्फॉर्मेशन टू फॉर्मुलेट बिजनेस स्ट्रेटेजीज एस्टेब्लिश गोल्स सेट ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड मॉनिटर दी रिजल्ट सो एज आई से वाई दे नीड दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन सो दैट दे कैन सेट न्यू बिजनेस स्ट्रेटेजीज दे कैन सेट न्यू गोल्स दैट वॉट कैन बी अचीव वॉट वॉज द प्रॉब्लम विच एनी गोल वॉज नॉट अचीव लास्ट ईयर देन हाउ कैन वी अचीव दिस ईयर सेट ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड मॉनिटर दी रिजल्ट मॉनिटर इन द सेंस टू चेक इफ द न्यू स्ट्रेटेजीज आर वर्किंग और नॉट 
Hence, for making decisions about objectives, executives and managers need information for the following purpose. So these are the reasons why they